Howdy friends, Tadis here with Insomniac Next Door. Uh, a topic of today is uh, 5-HTP versus L-Tritophan. Um, if, if you've been uh, dealing with Insomnia for quite a while, then you've read that uh, these, w these uh, supplements definitely dominate uh, the Insomnia conversations quite a bit and forums and supplement reviews and uh, so on and uh, if you've researched them or looked up uh, other people's experience uh, then you know that they're all over the board and everybody reacts to them uh, differently but in general and in short uh, these supplements are helpful when you're dealing with low serotonin levels uh, in your body in your brain usually uh, uh, accompanied by of course uh, depression right serotonin is a happy hormone so if you're low you're you're a bit blue a bit sad and uh, it can contribute certainly to insomnia and uh, and uh, bad sleep and you know not a restful uh, night so how does it do it basically you need adequate levels of serotonin to uh, help you calm the mind. It uh, you know, allows for that restful state uh, before, you're, uh, before you go to bed, before you fall asleep. So this neurotransmitter uh, plays an inhibitory role in your central nervous system. As you know, your central nervous system uh, can be either activated or deactivated or stimulated or uh, in, uh, be inhibited. Uh, so in general, your uh, serotonin uh, even though it seems like a happy hormone should be exciting, but in fact it is inhibitory. It calms you down, and usually a uh, calm mind usually is by itself happy and blissful, right? So, uh, there are some natural uh, methods or the, the supplements to raise these uh, serotonin levels to improve your sleep. And, by the way, if your insomnia is not, uh, does not have its cause in low serotonin, you won't have the effect. That's why you have these different people on, on forums arguing that it's effective for insomnia. The other ones are like, oh, it's total crap. It's not effective. And it's usually because the biochemistry is different, right? Different, different. There's like a ton of reasons for insomnia. And the low serotonin, the low mel melatonin levels are only uh, one of them. So, uh, so starting with, with l tryptophan which is a natural amino acid, it's found in most uh, dietary uh, proteins like you know meat, poultry, milk, yogurt, egg, fish, banana, peanuts, and so on. So, if you're eating all these foods, you should be you should be having enough serotonin, uh, unless you have problems with your liver and so on. You know, being these things being converted into serotonin. Basically, l tryptophan is the amino acid which is a so-called a precursor for serotonin uh, a neurotransmitter for the for, for the brain right so the way it works is l-tritophan is first converted to 5-htp as you know if you, if you read uh, another another dietary supplement that i'll discuss in a moment and then uh, that is converted into a serotonin or uh, and melatonin right and melatonin you probably all also know uh, it's uh, it's uh, produced also by a pituitary pineal Pineal, one of those glands in the brain, right? Uh, like I said, not a scientist, <laughs> just uh, done a lot of research. And that is what causes your uh, body to start shutting down in the evening, going to uh, a sleep mode, right? So, one of the things if you try uh, l tryptophan is recommended to take it away from your meals, especially if they're heavy on protein, because they... Uh, l tryptophan competes with other amino acids uh, with, uh, with within your within your body, and um, uh, if if you're low on uh, on on serotonin, l tryptophan from your dietary sources may just not be enough because it it, it competes for, uh, for 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 the same uh, receptors in your brain. So. Um, th without getting it too complicated or getting myself into a, a corner where I, I don't have any clue what I'm talking about. Um, uh, what's important to know is that 5-HTP uh, uh, compared to l tryptophan 
is basically uh, uh, produced from l tryptophan right? It's a naturally occurring, it's an uh, amino acid produced uh, by, by, you can say, here, by secondary product of l tryptophan and, it's so, and that is actually a direct precursor for, for serotonin uh, and uh, an intermediate in the synthesis of melatonin. Uh, so, in short, 5-HTP is uh, commonly sold as a supplement to, uh, for, for, for sleep or antidepressant, right? And if you're taking antidepressant, you have to try 5-HTP uh, before S those SSRIs because many report that it's, 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 it's as effective, really. So basically, 5-HTP uh, uh, is a more ready-to-go sort of supplement for your brain because it, well, it just avoids going through the liver, being converted, and so on. So technically, studies show that 5-HTP is uh, uh, more effective in raising your serotonin levels uh, than l tryptophan So it is very, very highly uh, discouraged to use both because uh, it can dramatically increase your... Uh, serotonin levels to, up to the point of being serotonin toxic, right? Can, you can't have, uh, I mean, too much of a good thing can become actually uh, toxic, as you know, as life experience shows, anyways, right? So, in short, don't use both. 5-HTP um, and tri l tryptophan uh, like I said, are only helpful when you're for insomnia when you uh, when you're dealing with low serotonin levels, and if you try it. And it doesn't work, then it's it's not, it, you don't have a ser low serotonin uh, problems. Uh, so personally, when I use 5-HTP, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. I usually would should take it in the middle of a night when I would wake up, and once in a while I would get this really deep sleep, but it would be accompanied by by uh, you know some some weird wacky dreams, insomnia. I mean, sorry, I mean nightmares and so on and I'd wake up kind of feeling oozy, you know, I just didn't like it, it was like a strange feeling for the rest of the day. Um, it's not that I wasn't myself, it just felt, felt weird, it just felt like it wasn't it wasn't the right thing for me. I'll try to fan on the contrast, gave me no side effects, but uh, it wasn't very effective. The first few nights I tried it together with GABA, which is another uh, neuro the central nervous system inhibiting uh, amino acid, it actually worked really well. You know, I took two l fans, which was basically a thousand, uh, a thousand milligrams, combined it with uh, GABA, and I had a really, really uh, restful sleep. And I said, bingo, you know, I found, I found my cure, I found what's going on, and I thought it must be the low serotonin levels. So first, maybe two or three nights, I said, I'm in heaven, finally, you know, I slept through the night, just combining l tryptophan with GABA, and I said, wow, out of the woods, cool. And then insomnia came back again, as with many things that I try, I either have a, a paradoxical effect or very temporary uh, relief, so it might be in, 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 in the same shoes as well, so... Uh, neither one of these worked for me long term, neither 5-HTP or Ultratofan. But uh, what I liked uh, about Ultratofan that uh, you can't really overdose on, well you can, or you're going to have a funny feeling on it, but uh, you can overdo uh, overdose very easily on 5-HTP because it directly converts to serotonin. L tryptophan is actually have to be converted by the body, and I think from what I read also that the body converts as much serotonin as it needs and then dumps the rest of the, of the amino acid. So I like this approach much better, right, than overdoing on 5-HTP. So 5-HTP uh, can just cause too much serotonin uh, and, and may give you some 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 nasty side effects. So. Uh, as a final note, uh, I noticed uh, a slightly different sexual function with l tryptophan and GABA. And I, you know, I googled it, and lo and behold, it kind of works a bit like SSRI, antidepressant, which I never tried, I never took, I didn't think I needed. I'm a happy guy when I get enough sleep, you know. Uh, it, it, it gives you a, a bit of an edge uh, in, in, in bed, if you know what I mean, guys. 
you know, it lasts longer, and if you have uh, some sex sexual dysfunction with, uh, you know, slightly excited accumulation of uh, eruption of volcano, <laughs> it will definitely have you make you last longer, which is, uh, I think, for a lot of guys, is a, is a, is a cool uh, side effect, if I can call it that way. And it's all Tritofan. If you Google Tritofan, uh, with all those other keywords, if you know what I mean, You'll find in forums that you know guys are saying like, "How come I didn't know about this freaking before?" You know, this is great stuff. So, anyways, uh, ladies, tell it to your guys if you need to. But uh, I, if I were you, and if you haven't tried any of these, try them both, but separately. Try L Tritofan, a thousand milligrams, about an hour before you go to bed. Some say they take it in the morning and in the evening, and try a five HTP. But don't overdo it. Start small with just 100 milligrams. Uh, give it one night, and it it, it kind of can build. So uh, give it a few nights to see whether you have the effect. Hmm? I think this will be exciting for you if you haven't tried it, because it, these two are definitely reviewed as some of the most helpful uh, supplements for insomnia. Now, having said that, uh, they're not going to cure it, and they may be helpful, but the underlying cause may not be solved. Uh, there's something in your body, a disbalance, that's not helping you produce enough uh, serotonin, or if it's not serotonin related, all these other things that, that's causing a, a, a disbalance. So these are these usually just a temporary relief, you know. You can't stay on these for years without addressing the root cause of the problem. So uh, I'm sure you're in the process like me, uh, trying to root cause of the problem. And when you do, come back and share with me what you have discovered. So far, I think mine uh, are lie in the gut, uh, methylation issues, so I'm addressing that. I'm definitely getting some progress, and I'm doing the Qigong. I think that, that gave me definitely returned uh, some way more energy to me, and I feel like my adrenal, adrenals are kicking again, so I'm very hopeful that this, is, this will uh, produce some good uh, healing effects uh, long term, and I'll definitely come back and report. So. Sleep uh, well, or you know, someday you will, I'm sure. And um, if you have some experience with uh, both of these supplements, uh, leave a note. I'd be really curious to find out what your experiences are. So, take care for now.